Hi guys, okay, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I am getting ready for New York and I thought I would do a packing vlog and then also a separate vlog just to share with you what beauty products and hair products and skincare products I'm packing to go with me. So I thought that it would be fun to do these separate that way each one isn't too long in itself. And then also like if you're more interested in beauty, you can watch that. And if you wanna see the fashion pieces, you can watch that too. I'm really bad at packing, uh, but I think out of everything, one, I overpack and two, I think I pack the best when it comes to like my makeup and my skincare. I know what I'm using and what I need to bring for the most part. I just realized I don't have any lipstick on and I'm already looking so washed out because we're filming in the bathroom. So I'm just gonna put on some lipstick really quick. I'm putting on Max Cream Cup. So it just gives me a little bit of color. Anyways, if you wanna see how I organize my glam box, I'll put a picture of that right here. Um, you can click down below. That was like a few days ago in Vlogmas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk you through uh, what I'm packing skincare wise, hair care wise, and makeup wise. So when it comes to the beauty products, Jay has this nice Louis Vuitton. Um, we do really like Louis Vuitton luggage, I will say. And he has already put a few of his items in here, his cologne, which like if you're looking for a great gift for men, this cologne smells so good. It's Costa or Costa Azura. I think that's how you pronounce it from Tom Ford. Their bottles, ah, oh, I melt. But that one smells so good. If you like your man to smell like fresh and everything, this would be one to go. If you like something that's really strong, this, that's definitely a lighter cologne. He was so nice and he put the Colgate, he put a travel toothpaste in there, which I'm gonna open this up because that is taking up a lot of room. So what I like to do with my beauty products and skincare and all that stuff is I like to pack it ahead of time um, the night before at least or the day before so that way when I'm getting ready for bed at night and I'm getting ready the next morning I make sure like I'm just pulling things that I packed so if I'm missing anything I'll know it um, so I'll go ahead and put my toothbrush in there and for skincare since we'll do that first I always use the bioderma I'm a little bit nervous about packing this so I might I'm not a fan of putting things in smaller containers it's not my style but this one, I might do that or put it in a plastic bag. So I'm gonna set that aside, but that will go in there. I am using the Pharmacy Clean Bee Cleanser. I have been using this for a while. I like fix the top to where it won't pump. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. This also holds a ton. I want to get one of these for myself because it just holds so much more. Anyways, <laughs> I will put I've been using the Pharmacy Cleanser. I really love that. Um, I will put my perfume in there. This one's from Burberry. It's my favorite winter perfume. It's just very like warm and sweet and I love that. So I'll go ahead and stack that in there. And nighttime, my strong cream from the dermatologist. For daytime, I use the Control Corrective Oil-Free Sunscreen um, and Moisturizer. So that is all of my skincare. I have really kind of condensed it down. I probably, I usually pack Q-tips, but we're staying at the plaza and I'm really trusting that they will have Q-tips and cotton pads. Oh, also the Rodan, Rodan and Fields Lash Boost. Sorry, that's like probably a little too bright. There we go, that's going in here. But really that's all I use. I use a nighttime, oh, of course. You guys, I am forgiving half of my products. See, this is why. I am gonna pack the Summer Fridays Jet Like Mask. I really love that. And sometimes I'll put that on my lips. Okay, Jay and I both live by the La Mer Lip Balm. So I'll put that in there. I'll also put a hand cream. I'm gonna carry one of these in my carry-on bag. I could do like a what's in my carry-on bag video too. Travel is just so convenient for YouTube videos. My deodorant, I use the Secret Clinical Strength Gel. Jay, I'll go ahead and put his in there just so that way we know. And then, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna go get a manicure or not, but I'm gonna bring my nail polish with me just in case I get a chipped nail. And that pretty much does it for the skincare portion. I don't bring my shampoo usually, unless I'm going for like a really long time and I know my hair is gonna get so messed up. I probably won't bring my shampoo um, or anything like that or soap or lotion. I'll just use everything that's there. For my hair though, I will bring my um, Shaper Plus 
the Sebastian hairspray and the Aura Bay, Aura Bay dry texturizing spray. So I will just put those in my suitcase and then I'll use the blow dryer there. I just use this, but I'll also bring my hot tool. This is like the one inch curling iron. This is what I use to curl my hair every single day. So I'll go ahead and pack this in my suitcase as well. Just had a thought and I will go ahead and put my, see this is what happens. I'll put my hairbrush, I'll bring a clip and one ponytail holder. I'll probably be wearing my hair down for the most part. So I will put those in my little toiletries bag as well as I'll put some bobby pins. I usually don't pin my hair up that much. I honestly have been wearing my hair parted down the middle since I got it done and I have been liking it. It seems like it doesn't, I can get better like two day hair out of it because the back seems to look a little better. I don't know. If it doesn't, don't tell me. <laughs> but anyways, so I'll put some bobby pins in a bag as well and stick those in there just in case I need those. I need to clean my makeup brushes, but now on to the makeup. I also have, I have this as like, I guess like the Louis Vuitton toiletries bag too. I really do like these. I've had things bust in them. I've had things break in them. Honestly, Jay's, I think he had NyQuil like spill out of his, probably. I don't know. But this one, out of the two of these, I would recommend this one. I think this is more of like the men's toiletry bag, but it just, you saw how much stuff I put in there. It has so much stuff in there and I can still cram like quite a bit more in there because I like everything to be flexing. We like to jam it in there. Uh, but this one is okay. It still fits a lot, but I wouldn't say it fits a ton. And I think they're either this is the medium size or the largest one. So I wouldn't say that this is exactly, I think it's a great bag, but I don't know if I like packing my makeup in it. I'd rather pack my makeup in something like this because this holds so much more. I think this would be used better for like your headphones or like something like just not makeup because everything, everything is kind of bulky and this is like very slim. So I don't think it works that great, but needless to say, it always fits everything I need. Um, anyways, what I'm gonna do, I like to just start by how I use it and a lot of things I'll bring basics and then some things I might bring a little bit more. So I probably will bring my Tom Ford Illuminating Primer just in case we go out and I wanna wear something nice. And I haven't been using the Laura Mercier foundation, but I'm gonna bring it just in case I get like my skin freaks out and I need it. I'm gonna bring the RMS Uncover and the Unpowder because that's what I've been wearing every day. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, just for a lighter makeup look, I really love it. So if my skin is good, then I'll wear that. And then if it's not, I'll wear the Laura Mercier because I have just really been, I've been stressing this week and I can see it coming out on my skin. Probably will bring my tweezers. I would have packed those in there, but I just keep them with my makeup stuff and my eyelash curler. So those are definitely like basics. I try to pack this strategically, but it still ends up like stuff everywhere. So who knows what I'm going to pack for my eye makeup is I'm going to pack the Tom Ford new dip. I've been talking about that so much. I promise I use other things, but not that often just because I like that the best. And I probably won't go for a dark eye and I probably sh I probably shouldn't bring this, but I'm going to bring this color from Chanel. It's the Vert Khaki. 88. It's just like a green eyeshadow. I'm gonna bring that even though I probably won't use it. See this is where I go like crazy. And then I'm gonna bring the Tom Ford Platinum and Paradiso cream shadows. So this is the Paradiso. It's like just a pink color. And then Platinum is more of like a brown taupey color. And I use those as my base. So I think overall for eyeshadow that's not like a ton of products. I don't know. Probably. We're just going from Friday to Sunday, so that's like a little bit much. But anyways, okay, so on to the actual face products. I'll pack May Blush, the NARS Ghoul or whatever. Pack that. I will pack MAC Soft and Gentle Hi whoops, Highlighter and the Bare Minerals Warmth for my bronzer. And I might go ahead and pack my um, under eye, my secret brightening powder. So that is that for eyes, Tom Ford, 
brow pencil, all of this will link, be linked below too. Uh, my George Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara, my favorite, as well as my liquid eyeliner. So we're doing good. We have all that in here and it still has lots of room. I have to pack all my brushes, so I'll probably go ahead and pack those and then I'll go in and pack my lip products. That's where I tend to get a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna try to keep it very simple. Now for the lips. I know I'm gonna bring the Laura Mercier Dominate pencil or whatever this is, like crayon type of thing. It has a funny shape to it now. This is the bright color I wore in one of my recent videos on Instagram Lives and I got a ton of comments on it, so it's so good. I'm gonna bring that. I'm gonna bring Tom Ford Blush Nude, but I think that that is in one of my purses. Velvet Cherry right here. I'm gonna bring that also in case I feel like I need to wear a dark lip. That's about as dark as it gets for me, for the most part. Um, let's see. Oh, here's the blush nude. I'm gonna bring that. I need to buy another one. It's like my new favorite. The basics, I will pop. Let's see. I will bring the Kiss Me Quick MAC. Um, you know, yeah, I'll go ahead and bring that lip liner just in case I'm feeling fancy, but I don't really know. And then I have the MAC. Um, lip liner in subculture and I'll bring that too for everything else I might pop a gloss in there just because I love a gloss I'll bring this YSL gloss it's my favorite it's number 20 all right so the last thing I'm gonna throw in is my teasing comb because I forgot that so these are the two brushes that I'm gonna bring and my hair products so I'll slide these into the toiletry bag I'll slide the teasing comb in there so that's pretty much it. I'll show you what I have here as far as like toiletries go. I'm gonna do something with this and get that in the toiletries bag. I'll show you what I have. Okay, so I have my curling iron, my two hair products, my makeup bag, toiletries bag, and a comb. And that should be it for like Jay and I, both of our toiletries. So it might look like not a lot, it might look like a lot, I don't know, but I think it's pretty efficient. And so that's what we have.